Greetings and welcome to Growth Hacking Secrets. I'm your host, Mohammed Siddiq from Atlanta, Georgia, and the co-author of New Success Secrets available on Amazon. On this episode, we have a special guest, Patrick Porter. Patrick is the founder of BrainTap, mental coach, author, and brain researcher. Please join me to give a warm welcome to our guest, Patrick Porter. Patrick, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me here. It's great to be here. For all my audience, I just want to appreciate you for having the good hairstyle. You know, I, I love your hairstyle, okay? Mm-hmm. And I'm working on that myself. I'm not just only making a joke, are you saying? So let me start with this. Where were you? What happened? Who were you surrounded with that inspired you to do what you do today? Well, luckily for me, my dad got help with his alcoholism. So he put me down this path of uh, self-help. It helped him to become alcohol-free. It helped me to become uh, a better student. I actually have written nine books because of that. And I surround myself mostly with uh, trainers and motivators like um, Richard Bandler, John Grinder, or to name a few, uh, Milton Erickson's group out of Phoenix. Anyone who can help me to get better results for my clients, that's who I hang out with. What are the top three mistakes to avoid? One is not getting up and speaking when asked to. I have a saying, if they ask you to speak, get up and say something positive. Uh, Number two, don't sell people short because you think you're thinking for them. Let them answer yes or no. Don't do it for them because a lot of people do that. And number three, um, be open to changing everything you're doing right now. If something better comes along, don't get locked in to your own glory. Uh, Get locked into the results of your patient or client. Mm. One more. No, that was three. Yeah. But the, so one more, what I would say to people is remember that um, you know, the old saying is uh, work, work hard and advertise. You know, you, nobody knows the best people out there because they're not willing to go out there and share with the world. Do things like this. Be willing to show yourself, even if only one person is watching this, that one person you can tell too, and it can start a snowball effect in your business. So Show up as your best self, regardless of who shows up to hear that person. You know, that's the main thing. What is your greatest failure story? What did you learn and how did you recover from it? I think my greatest failure story was uh, my company, uh, my old company, which I had to sell because of this mistake, was that uh, I put too much faith in people without checking them. You can have people who work for you, but you have to have check and balances. And unfortunately, I had a a bookkeeper that embezzled a million dollars from me. So that meant I had to bring, I had to raise money for my company, which got to the point where I couldn't work with the people I brought in. So what I learned was, uh, even though people are competent, you have to have check and balances and always have a way, uh, don't give people too much uh, power over your business or your practice. And remember, professionals are there to guide your practice, not create your practice. Uh, because I was relying on other people's uh, opinion too much. I've learned a lot since then. That was back in 2002. So uh, I'm, I'm well beyond where I was then, but it's, it, was a, it was a shocker to my wife and I when it happened. What are your top three success secrets that others can model from? First of all, I get up every morning. And uh, for me, I do brain tap and exercise. I think that uh, you have to do brain fitness and body fitness because it doesn't matter how much you earn or what you learn in life. If you're sick, it's going to all go to, you know, you can't, you can't buy back health. You can only maintain it while you have it. That's number one. Number two is be open to all the possibilities that are out there. You don't have to make those decisions. And uh, number three is always price your product higher than you believe it's worth because people need to, you need to have options. You can always go down in price. You can't go up. So I've seen too many of my professional friends and uh, some of my colleagues, whether they be of my franchisees or people we're working with in our clinics, they charge less. And then they find out at the end of the day, they're not working for any profit. You've got to figure out what you think you can charge and then go higher. You Again, you can always go lower. You can't go higher usually when you're negotiating with someone. We're about to start a lightning round. That means quick question and quick answer. Are you ready? Yes. What are you grateful for today? I am grateful for the fact that uh, we live in a technology world and I'm in the technology business. I get up every morning just thankful that I was born into this time period. How young are you? I am 59 years young. Patrick, you are not 59. You are 18 years old with 41 years experience. Oh, there you go. That's good. (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah, I like that. <clears throat> what do you want to do when you grow up? I really want to create a, what I call create a dream village. I already have it all planned out in my mind, a place where people can come that want to create. I've created over 2000 products that are sold around the world. And for me, product creation is very easy. Monetizing it is simple. And I want to be able to share that with people when they come out and train, whether I have a video studio, I have audio people, and I want to have writers on staff. I want it to be a place where, like in the old days, used to have the artist communities. I want to have a wellness community of great thinkers. And that's when I grow up, you'll know when I have that because you'll hear of Create a Dream Village everywhere. That's what we want to create. <clears throat> How do you overcome a challenge life throws at you? Well, the first thing that I do is I realize that nothing is permanent, that life is temporary, that uh, as long as you have your heartbeat and you have your health, you can you can pick yourself up from any situation. I like to uh, meditate. I always, I have a firm belief that everything that happens to you happens through you, which means that you have to process it in a way that's healthy. Like I have a saying that I was blessed to be the son of an alcoholic because my dad was an alcoholic and it wasn't a very one, but if you can take your greatest, what others might think is your greatest liability and make it your greatest strength, we're all on our journey like, like a superhero. So we have to have our emergent story so I think that's the main, I always think of when something happens that's a, that's a, that sidetracks me or delays what I want to do, I always think it's the universe kind of explaining to me, hey, you need to stop, take a look at this. There must be a better way or a different way to do this. How do you start your day? I start every morning by doing a meditation with my uh, brain tap equipment, and then I exercise and I get outside and I do a little grounding. I don't eat until two o'clock, so... Uh, I use that time to stimulate my nervous system and get it regulating correctly and do a little intermittent fasting first thing in the morning. What is the advice you will give to younger yourself? Uh, don't take everything so seriously that uh, life's a game. And at the end of the day, it's it's who you helped and how good you feel about yourself and about your world. And, you know, that everything will work itself out. You know, that's the, the main thing. Once you have a revenue generating idea, how do you convince your significant other? Well, luckily for me, I've had a lot of those, so uh, it's not that difficult to show her. But in the, in the process, what I do is I actually use Excel spreadsheets a lot. I make a lot of money on Excel spreadsheets. Those, those are the best ways to make money. <laughs> and then then I talk about the action plan. We are we're big believers in faith without works is dead. So you've got to you've got to have the faith that you have it, but you still got to do the work. So if if it's something that's within in my case, as long as it's in within light, sound, and vibration and healing, then I pretty much got a done deal. But if it's something beyond outside of my scope, if I'm trying to go outside of my expertise, she's the first one to tell me, you know, Patrick, uh, get back in your lane. You know, <laughs> you just stay with what you're doing. And I think too many people get spread out outside of what their competencies are. So as long as it's within my competency, I have a really good idea. Other than that, she's very good at putting on the brake. They tell they tell us that I'm the gas pedal and she's the brake. So we all need that out there. <laughs> so. What is the impactful business book you have read and what did you learn from it? When it, we look here, this is the book that I carry with me everywhere. It's, it's called As a Man Thinketh by James Allen. Uh, what I learned from that was that my thinking is a has a direct relationship to everything I experience in my life from the happiness, the joy, the gratitude, the success in business. If I can't think it, I now truly believe I can't have it. And so it, it taught me that uh, there's there's more to this world than what is physically present, that there's a, a force or a power, in this case, whatever your universal God is. You know, you you think about it. I was brought up Catholic, so that's the my thinking. So but it, I think it's just a matter of getting in tune with that. And I think that nobody does this alone in this world and nobody gets out of here alive. So we, we as long as we're helping other people and striving and keeping our thinking right, you know, it, it helped me to go from being a very negative kid. I've been reading that book since I was 12 years old. Actually, my dad, when we were grounded after my dad got help, we didn't get grounded like a normal person. He would give us one of the self-help books that he had on his shelf. And we had to go read that every day, read a chapter, come back and tell him how we were going to apply that in our life. And I, I continued that on with my kids and now they're continuing on with their kids because you get in trouble, you know, what happens? You need to learn from that. So the biggest thing I learned was you can spend your time improving your life or the universe is going to show you a way to improve yourself, or at least that's my philosophy. And I think if everybody followed that, we'd have a much better 
world and less uh, prisons in the world. <laughs> because, you know, their focus is wrong. <clears throat> Why being impactful is important to you? Well, I, I think for me, I've always been into sports and being out there doing things. I was a fortunate to be a three sport captain and get a college uh, scholarship. So I think I've, uh, and I'm also a Leo, if people know that, you know, the, they say that I like being out in front of people. I think if, if it's not significant in helping people, I'm not interested. And that's just the way I've always been. I mean, I started, even in high school, I started the first undergrad, undergraduate uh, uh, workout facility in our school. I just wanted to be a part of the solution instead of part of the problem. Who is your living mentor and what's the impact? <clears throat> well, the the living mentor I have right now is was my publisher. His name was uh, Jerry DeShazo. And uh, he met me very early on in my career. He was a very, he is a very gifted salesperson. And what he did was he sat in my office when I first got in business and he told me, hey, Patrick, you're going to starve to death. I had no idea. I had no business being in business. You know, I, I got my degree, put it on the wall and I didn't have the first clue. So what he did was he's been with me you know, forever, uh, actually over almost 40 years now. And he's basically coached me how to get my business acumen, how to treat people, how to communicate. And really he calls it uh, the main thing that the main impact was that everybody has a high value intention, which means everybody's looking for either self-love, joy, satisfaction, that, that higher purpose. They might be going about it in all different ways, but if you look at life in that way, and he was a great negotiator, so he taught me how to communicate with people and basically come from that highest pinnacle. He had a graphic with a pyramid, and you have to meet people at the peak of the pyramid, not down in all the minutia that everybody's going through during the day. And that really changed the way that I negotiated with my franchisees, my business partners, and even how I Every day. In fact, I think about what he teaches every day to me. Mm -hmm. Can you make an introduction to your mentor? So I love to interview him on this show. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you want to be remembered for? I want to be remembered for helping people to get better brain function and realize that uh, I was born uh, with learning disabilities, they would say. I was held back in second grade and was told I wasn't very smart. I wasn't going to accomplish much. And I think that if I can work now, with, I want to be known as the person that says, hey, everybody is a genius. What I mean by that is everyone has talents and skills and that I figured out a way to help people wake up their genius. And that's why my first book, Awaken the Genius, is that I think everybody has that potential to do that. Who is your ideal client? My ideal client is someone who... Um, is over typically over 18 but we can work with younger people but the the ideal is someone who has an issue with stress or sleep disorders uh maybe in, uh has a maybe weight problem or smoking but they want to do something they want to take an active role in healing or improving the quality of their life that's my ideal client i understand that you are author of multiple books can i see your books one by one and show why someone should read it if you have nearby yeah, I, I wish i had them all here but oh, oh yeah i do have some here okay. i didn't even realize they put them in here okay so i'll show you some of them okay. i've written nine of them so i have some okay. this book here yeah. is called so, discover the language one, of the one, mind. one second one second patrick just slow down put it all down just put okay. it all down start with one Okay. And just think what you're saying about one book, then do the other one. Here's the question. Show the book. Read the title. It's by you. Say your full name. Yeah, and say why. Called... Okay, let me just finish the question, Patrick. Relax. Mm -hmm. We have time. Why someone should read it? What the result they will get from after impact, basically? Go for it. Okay. This book is called Discover the Language of the Mind, A, a Hypnotist's Guide to Psycholinguistics. This is the techniques that I, we use in our franchise, and I wrote it to train therapists. So if you're a therapist out there wanting to get results using NLP, positive psychology, and hypnosis, this is the book for you. If you're not, and you're just an end user that's curious, we've actually I've actually put in over 14 scripts in this book that you can use the techniques and read them to yourself and start to improve the quality of your life. And then... This book here is the one I was just talking about called Awaken the Genius. This book was voted the best self-help book in, in uh, 1994. So it's been a while, but it's still a really good book. It's called Mind Technology for the 21st Century. If anybody out there has an interest in accelerated learning 
and improving, uh, especially if you're a student, we have a whole student section in here, but this is for anyone who wants to learn about how their brain works and how they can increase their learning potential and get more out of whatever they're doing. It teaches you about neurophysiology, but we, I've simplified this. This book is for anyone. Uh, they actually use it at the high school levels now as a course book uh, because it's written uh, uh, with, it has uh, what we call thought experiments after Einstein's thought experiment processes. So this book is for anyone who wants to improve their, their learning. <clears throat> this book here is called Thrive and Overdrive. Again, Patrick K. Porter, PhD. This book is the uh, is my newest book that I wrote. It's kind of the advanced book on Awaken the Genius, but instead of doing it for accelerated learning for students, this is teaching us how to learn. Every behavior, every attitude, every belief that you have was learned or assumed by somebody, mothers, fathers, teachers, preachers. And I go over why we live in such a technology world that's bringing about a lot of stress and how to resolve it. And this has a, a lot of uh, little tips and techniques in there. <clears throat> this book is called Your Flourishing Brain. And this book actually has been renamed now. If they go to look for it, it's called Your Flourishing Practice because this is for clinics. Uh, we have 2,300 clinics out there in the world. And what we did is we took a subset of those clinics and we did some case studies on how do you implement brain-based practices. So if you have a practice out there and you want to learn how what we've learned from these clinics on how to in, integrate brain-based medicine, then this book talks about it. It actually gives you step-by-step -step what to do, tells you where to go get the equipment, how to implement in your practice. And we we followed actually 30 clinics and we showed clinical results of what they were doing and why we think it's important that if you don't have a brain-based practice right now and you want to implement it, you can use it just by using this book. <clears throat> this book is co-authored with Dr. Todd Singleton and myself, uh, Dr. Patrick Porter. It's called uh, Introduction to Self-Mastery Technology, Weight Loss for Life and 10 Easy Steps. This is a group of clinics that we work with. They have over 800 clinics around the country and they do a weight loss protocol. So this spells out the weight loss protocol, what supplements we they want you to take, what uh, self-mastery technology is another name for the brain tap that we use. They use it in their clinic as self-mastery technology. So it, it explains it all. So if you want to lose weight, uh, people have lost between one to three pounds a week using this method. So this is something if you want to learn about the uh, weight loss program. <clears throat> and then this book, this is called Awakening Your Flourishing Brain. This is a book that our doctors use at the clinic level. Uh, they put it out in their waiting room. They give it to their patients because <clears throat> most of our clients don't understand the brain role in healing, whether it be from positive thinking to stress reduction. So this book is, is designed to teach people to bring neuroscience down to a level where the average reader, uh, you, you could. it's written in the same kind of vernacular or languaging like a newspaper. So we, we took it down to like a fourth grade level so that anyone could read this. You don't have to be a medical doctor to understand neurophysiology and how the brain can help you. And so um, we also have a book that I don't have a copy of here. It's called Six Secrets of Genius. And it's my six favorite metaphors or stories that I tell people for healing. And then I explain how that works. So it's, a, it's one of the books that if I was on a national radio show or something, it'd be the free giveaway book. But they're, they're all available on Amazon if you go there. Uh, they're also available as Kindles and audiobooks. How can we support you? Well, I think the main thing is just what you're doing here. Yeah, go down here to um, braintap.com. You can, you can read all about us. If they want a copy of that book for 99 cents, they can go to braintap.pro. And for 99 cents, they can get the copy of Thrive and Overdrive. They get to keep that. And they also get 15 days on the app. So when you go to the app, you can start using some of the techniques I talk about in the book for free while you're reading the book. We are about to wrap up. I'd like to have you a few words about today's guest experience on the show. Here is my question. What would you say about your today's guest experience on the show? Well, I think it was great. It's great the way you have the uh, fast pace, <laughs> asking questions, keeping people interested, and keeping it uh, very direct to... Uh, to success, which is uh, very well. We didn't meander anywhere. It was very specific. I like it. What would you say as a final word? I would say like like any anything new, it could be a little different, but uh, we learn through stress and, 
and confusion is one of the quickest ways to enlightenment. So, uh, you know, the best thing to do is to go after, if you're confused, go out, learn, discover, and research a little bit more and find out if it's something for you. The main thing is don't write off something before you've tried it for yourself. Thank you so much, Patrick, for sharing your wisdom with us today. On behalf of Growth Hacking Secrets community and our entire team, we really appreciate you. This is Mohammed Siddiq signing off from Atlanta, Georgia. Until the next episode, all good wishes.